<laughs> Good morning <clears throat> from near Cloudcroft, New Mexico on a cool morning. 52 degrees outside and not much warmer than that inside. 57, 58, whatever it is. Romeo says, Good morning to you guys. Where are you at? I don't see anybody in there. I don't see nobody. Probably ain't nobody there. That's why. Anyway, thank you, Romeo. Good morning to you. <laughs> Cute dog. Anyway, what? Oh, the goat. <clears throat> Good morning from the screaming, one eared, stinking goat. Phew, stinks. Anyway, and Matilda, the trash can with one wheel. See? You only got one wheel. But that's all right. She's still cute. She does her job. Thank you, Matilda. And I want to give a shout out to Maddie Van Halen. <coughs> he did a video. Anyway, he talked about my channel and it was all positive. So thank you, Maddie. And you guys that want to check out his channel, it's Maddie Van Halen. M-A-T-T-Y space V-A-N space H-A-L-E-N. Maddie Van Halen. So, thank you, Maddie. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your life. And don't forget, you know what day it is, don't you? It's Beer 30 Day. <clears throat> so, uh, yeah, this afternoon, what we'll do, yeah, I guess from now on or whenever, I, until I change, is, you know, if y'all have a question or something, we, we'll just talk, you know, and I'll respond to comments, and we'll do that for 30 minutes, and then we'll go get plowed or whatever we do but anyway uh yeah friday night beer 30 coming up and get busy with this uh today's the first day of the rest of your life make it a good one it's the day after yesterday day before tomorrow it is right now and right now it's already august the 4th guys believe it or not you know and uh yeah time's passing so never worry about what you cannot change and enjoy the hell out of the life your life the best way you can that's the key you y-o-u <clears throat> There's always a lot of peer pressure, and a lot of people always know what you should do, ought to do, could do, might do, and all that stuff. But the best thing for you to do is just do you and enjoy the hell out of yourself. But anyway, what else? Uh, Ralph P., never seen that before. Thanks, Rusty. Definitely a space saver gadget. That's on the popcorn popper. Isn't, isn't that amazing? It's real flexy little rubbery thing, and it just flops down to something about this stick. I think, I think it was like, I want to say $15, $20. Yeah. And it, uh, it works. I've used it three times. And on my microwave, it takes about five minutes, four and a half to five, <clears throat> to, to get it popped. But yeah, you just listen to it popping. And when it uh, the pops are like two seconds apart, shut her down. Yeah. And you just lift that little lid off. Got your little bowl of popcorn ready to go. Yeah, it's neat. I like it. Anyway, uh, nice riding with you. That's Mary Cooper. Thank you. On that long driving video, <laughs> I thought it'd never end. I couldn't figure a good way to end it. You know what I mean? No, I was just enjoying the drive. Shit, I didn't care. But anyway, thank you, Mary Cooper. Paul says, I like my I like to make my popcorn in a pan on the stove. This works when you're camping also. Yeah, it does work if you use a steel pan. If you use a, a aluminum pan, all the popcorn is going to stick to the bottom. Don't you love it when I pick my nose? Well, I do that because I don't want, I'm too lazy to reach up there and pause it. Anyway, <clears throat> this is the Chevy Bolt video I did. This is H.A. Baker. She says, it's cute, better looking than the new Teslas. I think it is too. I, I tell you, I, I don't know. Of course, Tesla's got the market because <clears throat> they got there first with the most. And, uh, but you know, these other cars, I tell you, there's some good looking stuff coming along at a a lower price than Tesla. I think Tesla's got some, well, I don't know. I'm not going to say, but it appears to me that, you know, of course, they've got a lot of other things going on other than just cars. But, uh, yeah, so anyway, we'll see. Leanne says, oh, gee whiz, I love these ride-alongs. It's been too hot to go anywhere except to HEB grocery store in the early mornings. So this has been a treat to watch. Thank you so much. Well, you know, it's, what is it, 57, 50, 58 in here. It's 50 outside or 52 outside. I'm 52, I think. <clears throat> yes, it's, but it, the high today will, will, may not reach 80. You know, that, that's perfect, man. Yeah, and, and this is hot for here. But hot for here is comfortable for me, okay? Two years ago, it would have been in the 30s and the 50s, you know? 
No, that was too cold. Double J, nice sombrero festival shirt. Ola from Brownsville, amigo. Uh, good morning. Uh, yeah, that was a, a shirt that was given me by a fellow there in Brownsville. That was uh, that he had something to do with the sombrero festival and brought me that shirt. Thank you very much. Uh, Gobsmacked. I'm on my way to your link to get one. Thanks for the tip. Or, yeah, it, they're, it's a really neat deal, man, that popcorn thing. And and the fact that it works is the key, you know. But it's amazing. It's just a real flexible, rubbery thing. I don't know, man. Joe Doe on the Thor Four Winds. Can the car dolly be adjusted to pull a motorcycle? I don't know. If so, would one wheel be rolling? I, I don't know. Are there solar panels charging the batteries now? No, it's plugged in. Uh... I'm not keeping anything. Oh, oh the solar, oh, no. The two you'll include, well, I, those I'm just going to give. So how, how else do they charge? Do you just plug them into 110 outlet? Are you looking to keep the Walmart AC you just bought? If you buy the motorhome, I'll give you the AC. <clears throat> no problem, Joe Doe. Contact me at rusty78609 at gmail.com. Uh, this is on Cloudcroft. Joe Doe says, why have a pee jug if the toilet works? And it has sewer connections. I don't know. I'm just doing me, Joe. You do you. James Ortiz. I really enjoyed this drive, Rusty. I've done, a hun done it a hundred times. And it never gets old. Uh, or never got old. Thanks. No, it, it is. It's a, that, that drive from Mayhill to Cloudcroft on 130. You can't go fast. If you're in a hurry, you'll be dead. You know. Texas Lady. Thanks, Rusty. That is the way I used to go to Cloudcroft from Artesia. Long time ago, stayed over top of the Mayhill Cafe. Yeah, they got hotel rooms there, and they're about $90 a night, which is not bad. They rented rooms then, and there was a saloon there. I don't know about the saloon anymore, but I know they have the Mayhill Cafe and, and the hotel, because I was checking it out yesterday, looking at their uh, menu. Uh, G says it's a nifty invention. It, the popcorn thing, I think it's a hell of an invention. Thank you. Uh, RV Living with the Geezer, check his channel out on YouTube. Olympia Hotel in Fort Davis would be a great overnight stop. They have three electric car chargers. Yeah, they, uh, I may do that. <clears throat> yeah, the Olympia Hotel is uh, in Fort Davis, Texas, and it's an old, old hotel that's got a lot of ambiance, and it's right downtown Fort Davis, such as it is. Fort Davis ain't much. But anyway, thank you. Ken P.A., salt and butter, yummy. Yeah, and listen to your arteries harden. <laughs> No, you do you. If you like it that way, you can pour gasoline on it if you want to. Van and Halen, uh, put the popper on a plate or saucer, and you can use your bare hands to pull it out. Huh. How about it? I'll try that next time. We'll see how it works. Los, Los Lunas Chevron. Los Lunas. Yeah. Popcorn equals crack, too. It, yeah, it, it can. It, it, it can, for sure. Same way with, uh, with almonds, you know, or any nut. Uh, anyway, uh, follow Jesus, that you do you. I enjoy our adventures. You always find things to do that does you, my friend. I, well, I, I, when I get up, I'm still me, you know. Uh, S. Lee 13, what would you ever want? Would you ever want to live closer to your son? Why? I mean, you know, hell, we got cars now, you know. You know, we're not riding horses anymore. <clears throat> Uh, no, we're fine. I mean, he's got a life. He's successful. If he wants to see me, drive up here and see me. And if I want to see him, drive down there. And we can see each other on the phone now. Jason's Texas Adventures. I was waiting for the Bigfoot crossing sign. Beautiful drive and lots of laughs along the way. Well, I, 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 would, I was being serious. S. Lee 13. <clears throat> nice drive. Every time you pointed out an RV park, I realized you can't use them anymore once you sell your RV. A little sad, but you're moving forward. Well, I haven't sold it yet. You know, I, you know, right, you know, right now I've even got a sign on my refrigerator that says "Do nothing," okay, and and that's what I plan to do. Nothing. You know, I, I've got the, I've got everything bought the balls in the air, and if, if they don't ever come down, tough. You know, I, I'm not worried about. It. I don't need the money, and uh, you know, I'm fine just the way things are right now, and if. If things change, that's great. You know, I mean, if I sell the RV and the lot, great. But I'm not selling the lot until I sell the RV. And right now, 
I haven't had anybody contact me with money to buy the RV. Uh, do, 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 do. Chris Reeves never took the time to drive that road when in Cloudcroft. Thanks, enjoy it. It's a pretty drive. It is. Yeah, you can just make the loop and go right around. It's a pretty drive. Capricorn 1, nothing much better than August and Cloudcroft. Cheers. Yeah, at July too. Yeah, July and August are great. In fact, you know, I was I wrote down, I was sitting out there yesterday having a beer on the patio, beautiful watching birds, all kind of birds, man. And I, I don't know, to me, they're just birds, you know. I mean, one's blue, one's red, one's whatever, you know, just birds. And uh, but and I, I was thinking about when I would use the uh, different places. And so, yeah, with, with three home bases, I can use them a few months every year, no problem. And see, like right now, it's only a hour and a half drive over to uh, uh, Cloudcroft, excuse me, Capitan, duh, uh, and... Uh, yeah, so I, if I don't sell the RV, I'll just go over and spend a few days every now and then. If it gets rainy here all day long or something, I'll just get in the car and drive over there. Everything's there now. Uh, Patrick Russell, you need to know you need to know your microwave power. You need to watch it popping. Two minutes in my micro on oh, my microwave sounds about right. But hey, no butter or flavoring. No, I don't add anything. I do add uh, uh, oh what is it uh, that hot sauce stuff really a tabasco sauce i put a little tabasco sauce on it and shake it up yeah it adds a little flavor uh mark babcock mark a but mark babcock sorry love mine rusty sure beats those microwave bags yeah no kidding you know that bag popcorn is zero <clears throat> uh here we go right here this is mag the star Love the long driving video. You're a hoot. Enjoy your live sessions. Yeah, that was a long old drive, wasn't it? 30 minutes or so. Blue B something. Mayhill. Land there seems up in price, but likely worth it. Well, everything around here, you know, it, you know, real estate just keeps going up, you know, because it's a function of population increase. Uh, if it's a unique area like the Cloudcroft area, you know, it's a touristy spot. Yeah. Anyway, 1951 Roy says, thanks, just ordered one. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I hope it works for you. Uh, mine works fine. Uh, w. Thurman, buttered popcorn. Love the smell. Uh, yeah, that's fine. You do whatever you got to do. You know, if you want to put uh, axle grease on it, that's fine with me, man. <clears throat> B-Boy says, uh, I used a stovetop <clears throat> with coconut oil and organic white popcorn. Coconut gives it a buttery flavor. Yummy. Watch your teeth. Uh, yeah, always, you know. And the older you get, you know, I've had two chipped teeth in the past five years. Mr. Rogers, I use coconut oil when cooking my popcorn, a little butter, a little Himalayan salt. You know, uh, you know that sounds like a, something you'd get at a fancy restaurant. I mean, <laughs> John, Johnson, what? Uh, good video, Rusty. Do a video on the supplements and vitamins you take. Uh, thanks. Uh, well, the only thing I do is, uh, here, I'll show you right now. We'll do a video on that right now. These one a day, 50 plus. I take one of those every other day. And then uh, these right here, this is uh, zinc, 50 milligrams, break, I ate half of one. And then a D3, uh, that's it. And this is every other day. Yeah. Every other day. Alternate them. And anyway, uh, troglodyte says, something tells me that you're probably burning a lot of popcorn because you want to get every last kernel to pop. Uh, but no, actually, I don't. Actually, none of them burned. I, I'm doing it by the rules, you know what I mean? Anyway, we'll do a few more here, guys, because it's a little slow upload here. I mean, it, it's I'm right near the tower, but uh, it uh, it just for some it, and it shows like 12 megabits per second upload, and that should be excellent. But for some reason, it runs a little long. David says two minutes on my microwave, great product. Yeah, thank you, Clint Price. I think popcorn is a great snack, except for some reason it gives me terrible indigestion, but I still eat it on occasion anyway. Enjoy your snack. Well, you know, if you want to punish yourself, do it. Uh, King for a day says, much of New Mexico is a great area to read a good old western. Well, that's what I'm reading now. I'm reading good old westerns. Just for the hell of it. You know, they, you know they're just interesting. I, I'm just amazed at how he puts all those characters together. And he gives them such, you know, uh, well-defined names like rock killer or something. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Station is potholder. Yeah, that's what the word I was looking for. Last one here. I have the exact one, Pat, this is Pat C. I just, I put just a little butter on the bottom. Love the taste. 
I was looking for something to feed Matilda. <laughs> anyway, that's kind of crappy, isn't it? Anyway, don't forget Beer 30 today, and I want to give a shout-out to Matty Van Halen. Check his channel out. Good guy, apparently. He's got good taste. He likes me. <laughs> so, with that in mind, let me pick my nose one more time to show you. This is a nose-picking lesson. First, you get to clinics in your hand. Then you find your nose. So you got to find your nose, and then you pick it. <laughs> See there? You're a Ph.D. in nose picking now. But anyway, from near Cloudcroft on a Friday morning. Ha <laughs> ha! Got it that time, baby. But anyway, thumbs up. Carpe diem. Adios. Bye bye. Buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link if you choose to. Doesn't cost you a penny. What else? Drink plenty of water. Three or four quarts a day won't hurt you. It's good for you. Help you avoid gout, kidney stones. Also help you lose weight because you'll be full of water and you will not want to eat so much as in snack and the only way to lose weight and keep it off is eat less that's it that's the only diet you need to remember the rest of it's crap and then what else uh take deep breaths breathe in really deep hold it for a few seconds and then breathe out slowly why because that relieves stress and relieving stress does what lowers your blood pressure is that good for you yes do it several times a day you'll never regret it and then stretch stretch your fingers too sweat stretch stretch Stretch, <laughs> stretch, stupid me, it is stupid, anyway, a swivel, 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 walk, 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 pedal, 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 exercise your body once or twice a day, every single day, why? Because you'll feel better immediately, and you may live longer, healthier, because of that one thing, and then, what else? Stand guard at the door of your mind, this is your head, your brain, your frontal lobes, your consciousness, all those little neurons in there forming neural links which is every single thought, dream, memory you have ever had. So, give your neurons something positive to work with. Accentuate the positive, eliminate the negative, enjoy your life one day or one moment at a time. At ease, carry on, adios, bye-bye, hasta luego, vaya con Dios, aloha until the next video. And don't forget Beer 30 around 4 p.m. Mountain Time. Adios, bye-bye.